Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Where are we? Downtown Kedapapos. And we're actually on top of the public toilets and changing rooms. But of course, this is a sun deck area. You can come and do some sunbathing, but more importantly than that, you can feast your eyes and digest on the downtown Kedapapos promenade or out into the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. On top of all that, of course, I have brought with me the most beautiful woman in the world. She dances, she twirls, especially for you. And her name is Miss Ochin. Gracias, Via. Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again and again. The weather is absolutely spectacular. And I'm using now somebody's words, and uh, he's going to have a word with me. People help me. Now, the weather is so spectacular, I've said it twice now, so I've got to find twice now, and should say that the sea is blue, 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 blue. The sky is blue, 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 blue. Mr. Paul is, I'm actually using all his words, and of course, forgive my English, sometimes I may not pronounce uh, a certain words in the correct way way but I know that the, our excellent pupils as I call you the, the, the people who have been watching from the beginning and up to now they know that I cannot pronounce a few words in English so I'm just trying to tongue twist and my tongue actually I've got only one tongue can you imagine whereas if you break one of your le two legs luckily you've got two but tongue is only one so what is the solution you have to forgive me <laughs> yes indeed Miss Ochin Grisilla Booth getting her tongue round the rather difficult English language to you and me it's very very simple to her it's quite complicated but remember she speaks seven languages fluently yeah you heard me correctly she is actually a professor of Russian philosophy and on top of that, she was educated in the Ukraine. So believe it or not, Ukrainian and Russian are not the same. On top of that, she speaks Georgian. On top of that, she speaks Armenian. On top of that, she speaks more fluent Greek than any Greek could ever imagine. And on top of that, she speaks Turkish. And of course, on top of that, she does speak very, very good English indeed. Uh, I wish I could, but then I read uh, some comments of yours. Many lovely people say... Please, Marika, don't change your English. They meant don't become better and better. Otherwise, what should they laugh at? At the moment being, I'm so grateful that people find in my conversation or the pronunciation something very positive and funny. And therefore, I really, really happy about that. And I just love it when people laugh uh, at the certain pronunciation uh, yeah. words. She gets her tongue around most words, by the way. Anyway, come on, let's go and have a look, because the point of this little episode of Marika and Me, that's that little channel that you're watching, is to go up this little cut through, just to the side of the Annabelle Hotel, and we're going to go and have a look at some of the roadworks that are taking place, some of the improvements on the pavements, there's new seating areas coming in, and of course along the way there are one or two restaurants and coffee shops that may interest you. Right in front of us at the end there, Lady Andrew, if you're watching, which we know you are, and of course that peacock, Sir Mart's, is the La Royale restaurant. One of the best restaurants in downtown Paphos, there's no doubt about that. The prices, in our opinion, are very, very low. The service, well, it's exceptional. The food is beyond reproach. If you're looking for a great, great place to have a drink or a meal, when you are walking down to the promenade, you should pop into the La Royale. Have a chat with Mr V, he's the manager, speaks perfect English, and he'll tickle you to death. There's no doubt about that. But anyway, let's keep going, and we're gonna go and show you one or two of the roadworks and pavements that are improving every single day. Feast your eyes and digest. What have you got to say, Chrissy? How nice is to be in the shade. I started already to complain. I know that 
I'm a hot woman from, should I say, Caucasian uh, side, right? Uh, the place where I was born and for me it shouldn't be that uh, shocking when it's hot but it's getting hotter and hotter especially if we're gonna see these improvements on the roads which brings our blood to circulate a little bit more. It does indeed. So Marika is from the Caucasus Mountains if you want to go and Google that. That's the foothills of Russia, Armenia and of course Georgia. So that's hence why she speaks fluent Georgian and of course fluent Armenian. Now across the road is, as I said, the La Royale and look they've had an upgrade because if you look carefully those blinds are brand new and they now will allow you to sit there and sup on a pint or two or a hot latte while you feast your eyes and digest on what's coming up just round this corner which of course is the blue 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 Mediterranean Sea. Now this pavement as you may have noticed is nigh on complete but across the road there is still one or two things or two to do. Now they're going to be building some new seating areas, some new paved areas and you may have noticed that the road has got an awful lot narrower because it's going to be primarily a one-way system in and around Kedipathos. Great, great if you're on foot, not so good if you're in a car. But it's a good way to get some more taxis because you've got to go around the block two or three times. One-way ticket, one-way ticket, one-way ticket, one-way ticket, you know? Oh, wow. It's, it's the be... hands moving the wow, skirt that tickle wow, me. Wow, Look at that. Wow. Oh, I yeah. am doing this especially for you in order to bring your mood as high as possible. This is because life is only one and you have enjoyed now and immediately. I can't scare you that much because I was going to continue sometimes tomorrow. Well, let's hope tomorrow always comes for all of our superstars who like to watch the little channel known as Marika and me. Coming up on the right-hand side now is the Penguinos, or as I call it, the Penguins restaurant. And it's a great place to sup on a pint or a hot latte or a cold latte and perhaps a great place to get that late lunch open from early in the morning until they chuck you out. And, of course, as the summer season progresses, that will get later and later. That's the main entrance there up to Bar Street. And as you see, again, it's been narrowed and they're going to be doing some new paving and some great seating areas, which means that you can feast your eyes and digest on which restaurant you want to go to. Do you want a quick takeaway from the Saba? Do you want to go to the Gormo Taverna next door to that? Or perhaps pop in to the English-themed Tea for Two? One of the best restaurants, in my opinion, if you want a great, great English breakfast. You've got the Donner Express coming up on the left and behind all of these barriers you've got the Altier All Day Lifestyle Bar Restaurant and that sits on the cusp and the blueness of the blue 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 Mediterranean Sea. Now I remember meeting a couple in the La Royale restaurant. The lady was Irish and her husband was from Scotland. They met all the way over in Germany on an army base and fell in love and have been in love for the last 26 years, if I remember rightly. They came to Paphos, stayed at the Dionysus Central Hotel, and the lady had great pleasure in looking over her balcony and watching as the men were laying all these cobbles. And look, it's almost, almost finished. I have to say that this area looking rather grand at the moment being, and it, ha it hasn't finished yet. It's still going on, a few things but I believe that uh, the huge mess is already gone. Uh, now it's only the cosmetically um, privileged uh, a little details left, which will give uh, to the whole thing the great uh, result, by the way. Uh, but I wouldn't say that I didn't like that little brown fountain, you remember, Mr. Paul? And well, you uh, never know what they might be going to build because there is still some pipe work in the ground. So perhaps once they've changed all the road shape, which they have, and they put the paving in, you never know. They might go and restate that fountain, especially for you. And of course, Miss Ochin will see the Isle of And also, I would like to say one more thing. Uh, I believe if you stand here more than five, 10 minutes, you will find out 
uh, dislocating cars which were going wrong way by the way they've been lost this is you can tell no they didn't do it on purpose but I'm afraid somewhere they are up uh, on the hill the road uh, I believe they will find someone who is not really polite to them and then they will see the reality of the driver sometimes you have to be very very careful by the way the weather is amazing it is indeed. The weather is absolutely spectacular. There's no doubt about that. And if you're looking for a great, great place to come for a holiday, I tell you what, Paphos should be at the very, very top of your list. And look, right on cue, the concrete mixer has arrived and they're going to finish that last bit of walling and seating right at the entrance to the downtown Kedo Paphos promenade. What better place to come Feast your eyes and digest that, which of course is the blue, blue, a blue, blue Mediterranean Sea. All that's missing is you. So come on, get yourself on a big bird or a canoe and start paddling like crazy. And while you're at it, why not go and hunt us down on that Buy Me A Coffee platform? That's where you could gift us that virtual coffee or two. Actually, my heart slowly went to my panties, by the way. There you go. I'll be checking them panties down a little bit later. That's because when I jumped on the new surface, the man uh, said, up, oh! and immediately it went there. Uh, sorry for my French, by the way, but he was meaning to the big truck man. And uh, remember that uh, it's a pleasure to be here and to make such a video of the renovating and beautiful changes of the town. It is indeed. Slowly but surely, Paphos is coming into the 21st or the 22nd century because it's going to be a great tourist resort. And on top of all of that, it's the only place where you're going to find that beauty and to me. And there's a man having a good wave at us. Yasu, you all right? There we are. Lots of people are getting used to us wandering around the workmen and they're working very, very hard to make sure that Paphos is that much, much bit better, especially for you. Well, what we do, we're totally, totally enjoying what we, how we try, we really try our best to show every single detail and corner of the renovating purpose. And from the sides of us, we would like to thank you for staying with us and keeping um, watch, keep watching. Uh, really, really uh, appreciate it from the bottom of our two. Thanks for watching, and of course, we'll see you again very, very soon, somewhere in and around downtown Kedo Patfors. There's some guys working very, very hard, well, on a mobile phone, drinking a frappe, but they are pouring some concrete, especially for you. Feast your eyes and digest. That is the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea, and it's waiting, especially for you.